Welcome back to the Mountain Morning Show. I'm excited to uh, switch our attention to Sundance Shorts as we have in this hour. It's always fun to talk about the short films. This one's about a 19 minute long film and uh, very happy to have from Hot Winter, a film by Dick Pierre. I've got Jack Henry Robbins right here, who is uh, director, co-writer, uh, Nunzio Randazzo, who is right there, who's also co-writer and actor. And then finally down there at the end, Nate Gold, who is our DP. Yep. Welcome. Thank you. Cool. Couldn't Thanks be happier Robbins. to have you guys here. All right, we've got to talk about this film uh, right out of the gate. Of That's why we're here. Yeah, why? <laughs> I mean, tell me what, what made you decide to do this one. Well, uh, for all the viewers at home, yeah. we made a 1980s porno about climate change. Yeah. Uh, without the sex. Without the sex. So yeah. it's as if it was made and found um, for public access. Uh, right. It's uh, framed in this show called Smith Smitherton's Conscious Film of the Week. <laughs> And this week he's presenting uh, one of his favorite films, a 1982 classic called Hot Winter, a film by Dick Pierre. So and because the sex scenes are taken out, it's real, real short. Yeah, yeah. that's why we're down to 19 minutes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I, where does the impetus of this come from? Who thought this up? This is, it's a brilliant idea because you're packaging learning in with fun. Right? Exactly. <laughs> that's, what, that's what the kids want. Uh, it's kids what they want, want nowadays, yeah. Well, me and Nunzio co-wrote it, and also Nate helped with the conception of the concept. Um, we were kind of floating around VHS ideas, because we love the format. It's filmed right. all on VHS. It's all analog. Um, I don't know where you found one. Yeah, Hard eBay. to find. I yeah. now have four of them, so, so I yeah? can let you know all about it. Okay. Um, but yeah, I mean, it was a really amazing process. I mean, we just... We were like, okay, what, the, what are the staples of VHS? And you know, there's aerobics videos, there's home shopping networks, right. and then there's porn. Yeah. So we decided, let's do a porno, but we can't just do a porno. We got to make it conscious because it's just it makes it fun and it makes it um, accessible for us. And then we were accessible like, accessible because you guys know lots about porn. That's correct. <laughs> okay. That's exactly what we're doing. <laughs> Nunzio is the on-site expert on yeah. that. I uh, uh, hold on. That's not right. <laughs> and I can fix it. Yeah. yeah weeks and weeks of research. Some set yeah. This is live. Some set dressing. Years some of actor research. dressing. Yeah. yeah, some very specific stuff. Yeah. If you need a little help with that, by the way, if you go over to Slam Dance, you know, this other little festival, mm, yep. they've got that 1990s dig uh, set up where oh, a cool. kid's trying to find porn online from oh. 1990, 1990 bedroom. So oh. it's kind of perfect for you. You guys need to get over there and get a photo. Whoa, that's crazy. <laughs> that sounds like the Twilight Zone. <laughs> it was a little, right? Yeah, you can't find porn on his computer? Yeah. Man, what? Reality. Yeah. It was actually when we were researching it, it was really hard to just find the storylines of porn without actually finding the sex. Yeah. But uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, well, your moms are very disappointed. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, they're actually very proud because we got into something. <laughs> no, mine, mine is. Yeah. yeah he's right. <laughs> Yours still is, right? Uh, sometimes it, well, he and I get this a little bit. Yeah. Uh, sometimes it doesn't matter how good you do, your mom's still going to be upset about She's the one little thing you did wrong. Still is mad that I'm in a porno at Sundance. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I have to admit, out of all the midnight shorts, we actually. You probably have one of the most tame movies. Yeah, to believe that is not. true. Yeah, yeah. So. It's squeaky clean now, yeah. comparatively yeah. speaking. <laughs> For sure. Yeah. All right, talk about uh, the project and uh, making it. Uh, I, I love to talk a little bit. Uh, so we know we shot it on VHS. Mm -hmm. uh, what are some of the other things that were kind of unique to this? Well, no, you can kind of talk about like. Well, I mean, the whole nature of the VHS shooting kind of lended itself to a very interesting process, I would say, because I mean, the camera has so many interesting characteristics to it yep. um, in terms of lighting and setting up all of that stuff. We did didn't you use some of the titling right on it or anything like no, that? No, we did totally would have done yeah. that. I mean, there's a some lot of fades and right, stuff right yeah. in. The thing with that, though, is it burns it right into the image. Right. So if you screw it up or anything. Yeah. We actually did a shoot once where we accidentally put in the date. Um, oh, I don't think that's an accident. It in, you know? Right? Happy um, accident. But yeah, I mean, I think that's what made it really fun was that it was really loose. We could kind of just let ourselves go and, and fall into this medium that's VHS. There's all like, all sorts of different, like, um, I mean, it, you know, there are moments where it goes out of focus or like yeah. it's the auto exposure goes on and we sort of leaned into that. Yeah, that's what um, happens. And I think it, with the performances, it allowed them to be a little bit more free. It allowed us to have a little bit more fun, just like not really sticking to a very specific coverage schedule, you know. Nate, be careful when you're saying loose, free, and fun when you're talking about a porno. <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty loose. Yeah. All right, let's talk about the important message of this. Uh, yeah. Let's talk about that part. Yeah, a little bit of, of an course. environmental, can we? I mean, yeah, I mean, like, it's obviously something that we all should be focusing on, and especially what just happened in politics. It's yeah. pretty wild that 
all mentions of global warming were taken off of the White House website. Right. Um, I mean, obviously, Nunes just said it best at a QA. This is not the most important film ever about climate change. There's, yeah. you know, but what I think what it does is it brings two things. I think it brings uh, humor and levity to something that's very serious, which we're all scared. I mean, I'm very scared of every day. And then it also, I think, allows someone who maybe would never watch, you know, an inconvenient truth right. to watch something Agreed. ridiculous that might be, you know, uh, you know, someone one of their comedy people might have tweeted out once we release it or something. So I think it will, I think it will at least get eyes that maybe wouldn't have seen it. And it there are some discussion, yeah. Yeah, there are serious moments in the thing. I mean, it's never serious, but at the end, for example, there's uh, title cards that kind of explain that global warming is real. Yeah. Go to solar. You know. Have you had people like challenge you though and say, no, it's not. Look at her, look at all this snow in Park City. Has anybody said that to you yet? Uh, no one said like specifically. Look, there's no global warming, um, which I would love because I'd love to actually find out who has that opinion. There's um, people out there. Yeah. Even here in Utah, and you know what I remind them of? This is a normal winter, and we haven't had it for ten years. Oh, really? Right. Mm. When I was a child, this is every year. Right. Mm. So. It's yeah. easy to make the argument, but people here are still there's people who don't believe it. Yeah, it's pretty. That's pretty crazy. But um, yeah, we're just trying to do our part and uh, also make people laugh. I mean, that's how I've dealt with things. Is you know, uh, I'm a. I would say I have serious thoughts within myself yeah. or feelings, but I, I, how I deal with it is through comedy. So, because I'm really hilarious, actually. You are really funny guy. <laughs> He's are. very funny. I am well, funny. <laughs> <laughs> we have a little bit of a clip, too, that we oh. can take a look at. So should we do that? Oh, what is it? All right, let's take a look. Run the clip. Nunzio's looking great with the mustache there. Oh, yeah. Yeah? That was a week before my wedding, and my wife was like, you're shaving that, right? You're shaving it. She's not, yeah, she's not going to let you uh, get away with that. But it worked wedding. out because she actually decided not to get married to him. <laughs> is that right? Yeah. <laughs> it was easier that way. It worked. It was all the porn. Yeah. You've got to be more careful, man. Yeah. <laughs> you close your history. That's, right. you know, you got to delete the history. Also, That's I wasn't invited about. to his wedding. <laughs> which, is a, which is a thing. I thought he'd been Sorry, the best I man. I literally just bring that up all the, all the time. time. We had just met each other. It's all right, and Nate threw the bachelor party, though, right? Yeah. 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 I mean, yeah, no thanks. one knows how to do that like a DP. So yeah. throw that together, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, uh, the, the other part that I was impressed with, i got to mention, though, is the nearly Wilhelm scream there. Yes. That was amazing, that actually. That was done on, on set. On that set, us. yeah. Wow. We did that. I think our sound guy actually has that in his library now. It's such a great scream, but uh, yeah, yeah, that was a fun sequence. It was kind of, um, you know, because we talked about this a lot, like how to make bad consistently good for 18 minutes, and kind of finding <laughs> different ways to do bad. You know, like that yeah. rock scene was really fun because you know it's just the worst montage. It's just you know. Yeah. You hear the scream, you see two rocks fall with a foot for reference that it's yeah. obviously small pebbles. Yeah. And then a completely wrong directionally, now he's lying with rocks on him. Yeah. So yeah. Well, it's okay. We know that Nate's better than this, <laughs> right? I would yeah. hope so. <laughs> we know he's better than this. This is the <laughs> best work I've ever put out. <laughs> it's the, the best, VH worst master, work yeah. I've ever done. Right? Yeah, we're all shocked that we're here. Yeah. We shouldn't be here. Well, I think you should. I'm yeah. excited for you. What program are you in? The night, it's the midnight program, right? Yeah, we're in the midnight, midnight program. Midnight shorts. Yeah, right. we'd love for people to come out and see it. There's, uh, I think, our last screening's Thursday, right? Mm -hmm. And I think uh, if even if you don't have a ticket, uh, it's been sold out and there's always a few seats, so I think it's possible to get in. So it's, it's worth seeing. It's pretty crazy. I can hardly wait. I'm definitely going to be there at midnight with you guys. Cool. Uh, looking forward to it. It's a terrific looking film. Again, Hot Winter, a film by Dick Pierre. Much more to come on the Mountain Morning Show. We're taking a break. we got to pay some bills and we'll be right back.